China is the country with the fastest growing economy in human history, and tensions between China and Japan are increasing. The most powerful missile in the world today is China's hypersonic weapon. They moved faster than the eye could follow and, more importantly, faster than the American defenses could stop them. China is capable of destroying any target it chooses with such missiles, including Japan. One of Japan's strongest military assets already has a defense weapon that is no less effective, as evidenced by the existence of a full-size replica of a Japanese aircraft carrier for target practice. As a result, Japan will now develop and deploy a weapon that is faster and deadlier than hypersonic missiles laser guns. Development to equip fighter jets with laser weaponry the military is developing its own laser weapon called SHIELD, which will protect fighters from approaching missiles. At least initially, the system will probably be used to protect fighters who can't use stealth to hide from enemies. SHIELD, or Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, is the name of the system. According to National Defense, the Air Force Research Laboratory and Lockheed Martin teamed up to develop the SHIELD, a pod-mounted laser. Fighter jet wings or fuselage-mounted TALWS can shoot down approaching air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles. The Tactical Airborne Laser Weapon System TALWS, developed by Lockheed Martin, will use program data. Most modern fighter jets are only capable of passive missile defense. Pilots can launch flares to distract infrared missile seekers, take evasive action to try and fly beyond the arc of incoming missile sensors, or deploy strips of aluminum foil, known as chaff, to confuse radar-guided missiles. As pod-mounted systems, SHIELD and TALWS will occupy space on fighter jets normally used for bombs, missiles or sensor pods, because they would interfere with the stealth of stealth aircraft such as the F-22 Raptor or F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Instead, fighters such as the F-15E, F-15 degrees Celsius, and the Air Force's new F-15EX Eagle fighters, F-16 Fighting Falcons, and perhaps even the Warthog at 10 degrees Celsius attack jet are likely to be targeted by lasers such as the SHIELD and TALWS. It makes perfect sense to trade the capacity to carry one additional missile or bomb for a laser that can shoot down multiple incoming missiles. Laser weapons, along with today's chaff and flare defenses, could very well be operated by artificial intelligence of the R2 2D2 variety in the future to protect their warplanes from missile attacks. Airborne weapons would benefit from lasers. There is no need for in-flight gun magazines and a theoretically unlimited number of shots if the laser is powered by the aircraft engine. Because laser energy travels at the speed of light, ballistics is not a factor in targeting and thus impossible to evade. However, there are some drawbacks to lasers. The power of the laser is quickly reduced by atmospheric effects, especially water humidity and smoke particles. The laser beam becomes weaker the farther it travels. For the laser to have an impact, it must be focused on a fast-moving missile for a sufficient amount of time. The laser beam emits a continuous stream of concentrated light which heats the target until one malfunctions or explodes. In contrast, to missiles, which are high-explosive warheads releasing a great deal of energy in a single destructive burst. It can be challenging to aim the beam at a missile moving at a very fast speed. 